Are you ready to nail party? Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails. I'm so excited you're going to be joining me today. We're going to have so much fun. Now let's get started. Sanitize your hands and your clients' hands with Sanitize, 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 available in peach or gardenia. Remove the polish with Fast Acting Polish Remover, available in peach or gardenia. Etch the nail with the 100 grit purple terminator disposable etcher. Go with the way the nail grows. Put little scratches in the nail. Properly etching the nail eliminates 75% of lifting. Make sure there's no shiny spots. Just little scratches. If there's any shiny spots, this could cause lifting. Push back the cuticle using the trigium stone. Make sure there's no skin grown up on the nail. If there's any skin on the nail, this could cause lifting. Dust off the nail using a plastic manicure brush. Apply non-lifting nail primer to the entire nail. Apply it sparingly. This little bottle will prime a thousand nails. I like to wipe off my brush so I don't cause any contamination. And then I also like to wipe it off so I don't get too much primer on the nail bed. My client's nail bed is more oval, so I will be using the Custom Oval Competitive Edge Double Thick White Nail Form. Put your C-curve in the form. Place this C-curve underneath the free edge. Stick down your form. Stick down the wings. Secure your form. Apply Stuck On You Bonder Gel Base. Cover the entire nail. Cure 45 seconds in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Pour a small amount of odorless Shape It Up nail liquid into a dappen dish. This is to keep your brush moist. I will be using the Sculpt Number no. 6 Wide Kalinsky Red Sable Brush. I will be using Sculpt in Warm Pink. I will be doing an extra long coffin shaped nail. I will be going all the way out to the 5 on the nail form. And the way you determine what size bead you need is how long the free edge is. My bead is going to go from the free edge all the way out to the 5 and just a touch more for the nail bed. You scoop it out. Place the rounded edge towards the cuticle. Moisten your brush. And then pat it into shape. I do my cuticle area first. So hold your brush like a pencil. Pat it out. Do a perfect cuticle area. Get it just how you like it. Don't use your brush flat or you'll flatten it out. When we're doing a coffin nail, we want to make sure we have a nice high arch. So keeping the brush angled, we're going to go from side to side. Side to side. You can see how we're keeping that arch. Now we can start flattening out our brush as we're going towards the free edge area. Now we can start drawing it out. Get a little bit more liquid on your brush. Start pulling it out. Shaping it how you like it. I'm going to pinch the form a little bit more to taper it out more.
even up the tip. Make sure it's just how you like it. Get your nice shape on the nail. Okay. Now I'm going to do a quick cure so I can make a C curve. Put the nail 10 to 15 seconds into an LED or 15 to 20 seconds into a UV and then squeeze your C curve. Now I'm going to create my C curve. Starting at the nail bed, work your way out all the way to the tip. We're going to taper it in a little bit more. With the coffin shape, it's wider in here and then it tapers out towards the tip. So I'm going to give it just a little bit more squeeze out here to get the shape just how you like it. There you go. And once you get the shape, now you're going to do a full cure. One minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Remove the nail form and then do a full cure. One minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Clean off the nail with Clean It. I will be using the disposable 100 grit long lasting zebra file. But before I start, I'm going to score the edges. and then throw away my disposable etcher. I will be filing in five steps. Step number one, straight out from the nail groove on the left. Step two, straight out from the nail groove on the right. Step three, file the tip of the free edge. This is a square, so I hold my file straight up and down and go straight across. As soon as the file's flush with the nail, you know you have a square. Step number four, file the top of the nail in the cuticle area. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side, like a horseshoe pattern. And go around the cuticle area. You have a little road you have product, natural nail, cuticle. You're going to place your file in that little road and file the product flush with the natural nail. Nice long strokes. Step number five, turn the hand around and look at the nail from the client's angle. Bevel down towards the tip. Make sure it's nice and even. After you've done all five steps in filing, dust off the nail. Then you can look at the nail and do any perfecting that you would like to do. On the coffin shape, I always like to do just a little extra tapering towards the tip. So I hold my file going down the side here and just taper it out a little bit. Taper it out a little bit. Even my tip. Okay. Now I'm going to buff the nail with my disposable clean finish buffing file. Nice long strokes. Go around the cuticle area. Make sure the product's flush with the natural nail. towards the tip, get it nice and smooth, and then just lightly run the buffer along the corners so they're not sharp. Feels good. Have the client go wash their hands with soft suds, an antibacterial cleanser. I will be applying Top Gel Plus, a super high gloss top gel. Cover the entire nail. Nice long strokes. Cap the tip. Cure 45 seconds in a Mighty Mini LED or two minutes in a UV. Clean off the nail with Clean It. Apply conditioning cuticle oil available in peach or gardenia. 
Now we have the extra long coffin shaped sculpt nail. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.